Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Candy Nana. Today I'm going to show you a really, really quick um, way to make a good snack, something that you can freeze for later on. Um, but these are really, really good, really easy to do. Um, what I'm going to be using is empanada dough. You can make this. Um, I buy this frozen, much easier for me right now. Um, so I already have some open, I have about 10 of them left. Um, and they come in two different kinds. This is baking or frying, and then they have one just for baking. They're all five inch, and they're very, very good. They're by Goya, um, just empanada dough. But like I said, you can make your own as well. Okay, so I've already started. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I put ground beef, some chopped onions, some onion, uh, chopped onions, sorry you guys, I'm not doing good. Um, garlic, some Laurie's seasoned salt, Laurie's seasoned pepper, and some herb de Provence. So mixing this all together, cooking it all together really well, browning the onions, caramelizing them. These are just about done, and I'm going to show you how I get the empanadas ready and, um, and how good they come out. So you can see my other empanada video, that wasn't great. So I made something like this the other day with spinach and cheese came out excellent. So I decided I'm going to show you guys this because it actually works and it looks really good and they're so easy to make. Make them in advance and um, freeze them. They freeze really, really well. And you can have a week's worth of grab and go snacks um, right at your fingertips. Okay, so you have your empanada dough. You're going to put a little teeny bit of powder of flour on it just like this. So you want to roll it out just a little bit. So I have my rolling pin right here. I only have one hand right now. Oops. So you just want to very easily, very gently roll it out. Okay, so I'm going to get this going with two hands and then I will bring you right back. Okay, so I've rolled it out and so that you can see it in comparison, this is what it started at. And that's what I roll it out to. Okay, so I'm gonna bring some of my meat over and we're gonna fill it. Okay, so here is the meat and I'm just gonna put about two tablespoons. Whoops, I'll get that back in there. You don't wanna fill it too much, but just enough, because you want it to be filling. And I put extra onions in mine. Um, you could do this with any kind of meat. You could do it with vegetables. You can do it kind of like an egg roll type. And then I'm going to put some cheese on it as well, just on the top. Now the meat is hot, so it's going to be melted. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You just want to, I might have put a little bit too much in there. You want to fold it over. Oh, wait. Okay, forgot one important part. Okay, so let's take our egg wash that I have right here and just go around the edges real quick here so that it seals. Yes, I'm making a mess, I know. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of meat out. Okay. So we're going to fold it over, make sure that the edges all touch and you can stretch the dough just a little bit. Let me get it over here so you can see. Okay, so you want it to seal, then you want to take your fork and make sure that you're also sealing it, pushing it down with your fork, just like that. Thank you. <laughs> My husband's helping me, guys. <laughs> Can't do this myself right now. Okay, so once we have that done, okay, let's focus on this. Okay, come here. Once we have this done, let's turn it to. So you want to turn it in and kind of pinch it. Okay? And you want to do that all the way around, and this way it's kind of double sealed, and it's not going to come out. And you're going to do this for all of your empanadas. 
I got to move a little bit. Okay. Okay. So you just roll the edges, just like that. And then we're gonna put them on a pan. Oh, this is, this is breaking. This is gonna come through a little bit, but that's okay. They'll be sealed, okay. Okay, so we are gonna put this on the pan. And I'm only gonna show you how to do one of these. It's kind of opening up a little bit, but the other ones will be fine. Okay, then we're gonna take the egg wash and we're gonna go over it. And this will give it a nice, shiny coat. And trust me, you guys, these are delicious. Right, babe? They are delicious, not that much egg. <laughs> not that much egg, I put too much egg on it, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest and then I will take you along and show you what it looks like. Okay, here is what they look like before they go into the oven. They all have an egg wash on them. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I made eight. And it's with a pound of ground beef, one onion, um, some of my homemade garlic, and then the seasoning. Okay, let's get it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. So the, the oven is at 375 for about 15 minutes. So I just wanna show you, this is one of the spinach and cheese ones that I did the other day. Comes out perfect. Nice and crispy. And I just reheat these in the air fryer uh, for about five minutes, they're perfect. Okay, back to our other ones. Okay, you guys, and here is the finished product. And bananas, they look amazing. I'm going to dish these out. We're just gonna have them as a snack. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So, and I'll, I will show you what's inside and what they taste like. Okay, so here is how I'm just gonna serve these. Looks really good, right? All came out so good. Perfect on the bottom. Look at that. And see, they're not big. They're just like hand size, a little bit, a little bit less than hand size. Perfect for snacks. Okay, so showing you the finished project product. Cut it open. Awesome. Thanks for watching, you guys. So, word of the day is empanada. Please comment in the section below, in the comment section below, the word empanada for a chance to win one of my giveaways. And like the video, and you must be subscribed to win. So, please subscribe and share, um, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.